so much more vibrant. The color difference just on the uh, the Yanko here on the Camaro that you're seeing in front of you is amazing. Like it really does light up in low light. And this is a great example of what you can expect to see. Let's take another look at the Ferrari here, the 812. And by default, I mean, this thing on the Pocket 3 is just lit up on the iPhone. Again, dull and drab, just like it's not able to capture that much light. But the Pocket 3 just gives you that light. Let's walk into the other room. It's a bit darker in here. Uh, the iPhone showing pretty, pretty dark. It's kind of hard to see what we're looking at. But sure as heck, not on the Pocket 3. The Pocket 3, we can easily see that there's a Ferrari and two Porsches sitting there. Um, on the iPhone is What's up everybody your boy John here from Maximal Overdrive and uh, you guessed it today we have the DJI Osmo Pocket 3 sitting in front of us it is the creator kit. Uh, if you're gonna buy something, you might as well buy it right, eh? So, I've been looking for a good camera. Um, I've got a couple decent cameras, but not nothing, in my opinion, like this. This is, uh, this thing's fantastic. Um, just going through what you get when you purchase it, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about where I think it excels, and uh, anything that I think's bad. I've used it for several hours now. Thing is super simple to use, super fun, and uh, wow, is the battery life great on it. So first and foremost, pretty easy. Uh, you have this. This is the, the carrying case where you can carry everything inside uh, of this right here. Obviously, it's almost like a little shaving kit, but but a lot smaller. So a, I like that. B, um, it fits in all the devices that come with the Pocket 3. So as an example, your mic. Um, the extra attachment to basically, I call it a pistol grip attachment, make it a little bit uh, longer of a device. That's the full battery right there, which I'll actually take off so you can see. Um, so with that in a minute. It's also got the handy dandy little stand here, so you can attach it to this or to the battery. And why is this important? So you can get moving shots. So uh, when I say moving shots, I mean you can put this on the ground, you can put whatever, and the camera will actually active track your face or active track you. Now, this is okay, and this is good and works out very well, but if you have yourself a true tripod, which I have many, you can just attach this up to the tripod, and then you're, you know, four or five, six foot off the ground, be able to track you very, very easily. Um, going through, um, it also comes with a, uh, a wireless mic with, you guessed it, the sock, baby. So that sock comes with it. It's pretty straightforward, you take the sock, you put it in there, push it down nice and soft, and now you have a little windshield for the for the wind. When you do set this up the first time, you have to pair these two. It takes just a few seconds. You gotta go inside the settings, inside of the Pocket 3, and uh, set it up to do that. So it's, it's pretty nice. It's pretty easy and straightforward. So far, I've got everything to be very easy and straightforward with this device. Um, you also get one of these handy dandy carrying straps, um, so you don't lose it. I'm going to upgrade this. Uh, I have a, a better one. It's a lot stronger than this, but it's good that they at least give you one of these uh, to use. Um, I already mentioned this, but I just mentioned again, this is your tripod stand. This does come in handy. You want to set it on the ground. Uh, you want to set it on a, on a surface, any surface you like, um, the whole place, and then have it active track or follow you. One of the things I didn't like that I thought was kind of hokey, especially for the, the price of the Creator Kit, which is basically just cost 700 bucks, like 669. Um, it didn't come with the actual wall charger, so I had to buy this separately. I think it was like 20, 30 bucks, but I don't, <clears throat> I don't just want to use the cable. By the way, the cable came with it. I don't just want to use the cable to charge my stuff. I like to go to the wall chargers typically a little bit faster, um, but to each is their own. You don't have to have it, but I, it should have really been included. Um, people, have, in my opinion, today are nickel and diamond over like charger, brick chargers. Like you, you should have just threw it into the kit. So that would be my one gripe or complaint. Let's move on to the actual uh, carrying case or protective case, if you will. So here is the actual protective case. It's pretty sleek. The, the device basically clacks right in, and now it's protected. All right. And what are you trying to protect here when you're protecting the device? Number one, you're protecting the screen, and number two, you're protecting the gimbal and the camera itself. So with that being said, um, the packaging was very good. I already, I already unboxed it, so sorry I can't take you through an unbox again, but I already unboxed it. I was too excited, like a little kid in a candy store. 
And once the battery is clacked into place, there's two little clicks right here. They clack in. You can un, un, uh, take off the battery just by hitting that. And then if you power this up, it goes right into action. And one of the things you can do very easily is, hey, I want to do, uh, I want to do uh, shorts like on YouTube or shorts like on uh, TikTok. If you flip this screen, which is really cool, you are now in what I'm going to call YouTube mode, your landscape YouTube mode, so I can take videos just like that. Also, by hitting this button in the bottom right, you can flip it to a selfie mode. The gimbal automatically rotates. Watch this. Either way, I like it. I'm going to switch this back to vertical. Oh, you can see it powered off, which is fine. When it powers off, that's actually good to see. It hides the camera. So you see, you can't really scratch the camera when it's facing inside. I'm not saying anything's impossible, but this gimbal here is uh, is really nice. It's very, very smooth. Um, it has a pan tilt roll. It's got a really wide controllable range. Um, the camera is a one inch CMOS. The lens is equivalent to a 20, uh, 20 millimeter. Uh, the aperture is f2.0. The ISO range for video goes from 50 to 6400. Slow-mo, same thing, 50 to 6400, and then the low-light video is 50 to 16,000, which I thought was pretty amazing. I took this out uh, where it was basically pitch black, and I'm telling you what, it worked very well. So when you turn it on, one of the things you can do right away is you can click on this, and you can basically move the gimbal. You can see the, the, the device moving as I'm doing, uh, doing that. You can go up and down, left and right, and so on and so forth. The screen itself, which is pretty cool, so I can get up here on the screen, it's maybe a little hard to see. I can push in on that, and on the uh, camera, and I can change it from, oops, I can change it from video, to photo, to whatever, I like my photos. So let's start taking some pictures, so I can take pictures of, let's take a nice picture of the gimbal box itself, or the uh, Osmo box itself. Boom. Um, let's take another Boom. And if I want, of course, I can always flip it around and say, hey, look at what you're seeing. It's me. We'll take a picture of ourselves. Camera in the, camera in the old uh, Pocket 3. The battery on this thing seems to be very, very good. Uh, I've been very impressed with the battery on this. I've used it for several hours already, and the battery isn't very, uh, isn't very low. So one of the things that makes this really neat is that there's not only a battery inside of here, but this is an extra battery, basically. So think of it, it has two. It has an external battery, and it has an internal battery, which is awful nice, so I like it a lot. Um, one of the things that gets me, too, because I do, I do both longs, what I call longs and shorts, right? So short videos under a minute, long videos longer than a minute, is just being able to turn that screen, and now I'm in the mode for a longer video, just makes life so much easier, because I had to reshoot the video one way or the other, try and do some some weird stuff inside of my editing software, and frankly, uh, I don't like to do that. This makes life so much easier. So, so far, very impressed with what I've seen uh, and what this thing does, and just the ability to move it, move it around and utilize it as a legit small handheld camera is bar none. Uh, so far, I've been very impressed with the $700 I've spent on the device. So, let me show you a couple things inside of here. Um, it's got different types of focus modes. You can do focus single or focus continuous. Um, you can also change the format of pictures, JPEG to JPEG plus RAW. Um, the exposure can be set to auto or you can get in here and manually set the exposure, which is, uh, so far I've found it good. I'm not going to go in and tinker with that. Um, there are some options in here, which I'll get to in just a second, but you can go through and actually look at any photos you've taken or any videos that you have. It tells you what they are so you can see um, see what those are. So the more you have in here, you just keep swiping up or swiping left or I keep wanting to swipe, swipe left or right because I keep thinking I'm uh, landscape instead of portrait. You can toss them, trash them from here. The one cool thing that I did forget to mention is that right here is the memory card. So you just push that out, plug that right in your PC, and you are good to go. So, let me back out the gimbal piece there. Now, if you scroll top down, there are many, many options. I'm not going to go through all these, um, but if you go through them, it allows you to save to different, uh, not save to different devices, but um, you can uh, hit this and it can save to uh, JPEG if you want or change, I used to call it change formats, but you can, you can definitely change the format. On this, um, 
you have the option to screen, uh, screen rotate and capture. You also have the last settings used for whether it's the camera or whether it's the video or if you're in low light. And then the hyperlapse is something really sweet, which I'm going to touch on here in just a little bit. Um, I wanted to show here real quick if I can find it, and I probably won't be able to find it. It's probably from the downward angle up. Let's see here. You can change your aspect ratio, 1 to 1, 9 sixteenths, and you can do a countdown if you like. That's pretty sweet. And then, let me see if I have those in my pictures again. I'm going to go back to, um, to landscape here, because I did the landscape mode. Let's get out of that. And inside of here, um, it's inside of these settings here, this is the one thing you have to do when you get in here. So let me just back you up. So once you get into these settings, you hit the little, what I'll call the little gear icon there. Once you hit that little gear icon, which is the setup, I'm trying to get my camera to focus in. It's a little hard to see. That's as good as it's going to get, guys, for the wireless mic. So you can set up your wireless mic. You can see here's my wireless mic. I'm going to go ahead and power it up. This is the mic. Hold in the power. Okay, cool. I'm going to hold down the link button now. And guess what it says? Hey, we've got you. And you can see now it's got me paired. So now you can hook this up. And when you want to start recording, you just hit that button and you're actually recording. Like a little for you. Boom. And now I'll be recording. Now when I back out of the screen, which is pretty cool, you can see the mic volume across the top. I'm sorry for yelling in your ear, but I wanted you to see that. So, as far as for getting everything set up, as far as for how things work, extremely simple, extremely easy, no problems whatsoever. Um, I think the hardest thing was probably pairing the, pairing the microphone up to this, which you've just seen, it takes just a few seconds. The one thing that could concern me in the future is the gimbal, and that's just having to go back into its place every time. So be careful with this as you're utilizing because it is a three-point gimbal obviously but overall first impressions of this is it's a very sleek smooth package device the camera quality as far as video quality or pictures are concerned absolutely stunning um, 4k it is crispy and that's one of the things I'm going to do right now for you we're going to shoot over I'm going to go out to the garage and actually get some film some photographs uh, of both landscape and portrait of the different cars that I have in the collections. You all know I'm a car collector, but you can see what they look like uh, in low light and in uh, in normal light. Um, so I'll do again both uh, vertically and horizontally for you so you get a good look. So far, I have an extremely uh, good appreciation for this because I can't tell you the amount of times I have to go from this to this, right, shooting. And it's just a nightmare. And this thing makes it so easy, um, so easy indeed. So. This whole package again runs about $700. You'll see the link below uh, in the description of the video. You go and order from there, you can get this device, get the whole creator's kit. I highly recommend getting the, the wall charger, but that's, I'll leave that up to you, obviously. I always think wall charger is the best way to charge. So without further ado, let me show you some video and then we'll wrap up with my final thoughts on what I think about the uh, DJI, DJI Osmo Pocket 3 so far. I'm feeling pretty damn good about this device. I, uh, I think this is going to change the way that, uh, that I make, my, make and take my videos. So follow me out to the garage and we'll get to some work. All right, guys, and we're back. And we're doing the same thing, uh, except we're in landscape now uh, versus portrait. And I'm telling you what, again, it goes back to the lighting that this, that this camera is able just to pick up. The 812, again, looks extremely dull on the iPhone, on the, on the Pocket 3. Man, does it shine. I mean, it just looks beautiful. And more realistically, it looks like what the Pocket 3 is showing versus what the camera is showing. So losing a lot there. From this video standpoint, all those cars look a lot more shiny, if you will. Like it's, it's, it's gathering a lot more light on these cars than it is on the iPhone. So sorry, I'm trying to keep the iPhone as steady as I can. Pardon my mess in here with all the wires. Um, let's take a look at the Goblin here. So the Goblin over here looks a little bit dull, a little bit, a little bit too green. On the pocket, does it shine? It looks, it actually looks very green, which it's not that green. I'm going to give it that, but it's doing a good job collecting the light on each. I think the Targa looks amazing in this color. Excuse my little uh, uh, hiccup there. 
But yeah, I think overall for price paid on this pocket, it's just absolutely amazing. Um, you can set how fast you want the gimbal to rotate or not rotate. Let's get a close up on the 4Gs, on the 458. Yeah, it looks, a, it looks a hell of a lot better on the uh, on the uh, Pocket 3 than it does on the iPhone, that's for sure. This is pretty much a brand new iPhone. Uh, brand new as of six months ago. And then last but not least, we'll come back to the Pro Charger and take a look. So, my opinion, what I'm seeing, I see vibrant fluid colors on the Pocket 3. The iPhone seems to dull everything down quite a bit, whereas I feel like this is capturing a bunch more light. So let's do one more test. I'm gonna turn the lights off in here and just leave on, I'm gonna leave on the, um, the signs here just to give a little bit of light and see what things look like. So hang with me and uh, we'll get it shooting. All right, guys, so we're back. So I just turned the neons on and uh, looking through uh, both so you can get a get a feel. So again, just the neons are on right away, almost right away. I can tell that the um, <laughs> that the iPhone is, is still very dark. I had it zoomed in a little bit. That's OK. It still comes out dark. Whereas the pocket, it's just so much more vibrant. The color difference just on the uh, the Yanko here on the Camaro that you're seeing in front of you is amazing. Like it really does light up in low light. And this is a great example of what you can expect to see. Let's take another look at the Ferrari here, the 812. And by default, I mean, this thing on the pocket three is just lit up on the iPhone. Again, dull and drab, just like it's not able to capture that much light but the pocket three just gives you that light let's walk into the other room it's a bit darker in here uh the iphone showing pretty pretty dark it's kind of hard to see what we're looking at but sure as heck not on the pocket three the pocket three we can easily see that there's a ferrari and two porsches sitting there um, on the iphone it's a little bit dark it's harder to tell what the orange car is which is a porsche um, so I really like the way that the Pocket 3 is getting light. Um, the camera inside of here, the CMOS, is, it's just fantastic. The processing, it just is worth its weight in gold so far. So I'm getting it up on the engine so we can see the Pro Charger here. I can see clear as day that Pro Charger, but I'm having, I'm having problems. Everything just looks very black. And I'm just going to show you the screen here. Yes, you can see it, but everything is pretty black, whereas on this, everything is not just blacked out i mean i can see everything inside of there very well whereas this i can barely see the whole supercharger and the beads that they did for uh, for welding so overall extremely impressed for what they've done with this camera as compared to a current iphone that has a great camera in it. iphone's got a really good camera in it but this is significantly better, significantly. One thing I will say is it's probably not a bad idea to turn the speed on the gimbal up on the Pocket because on the, on the Pocket 3, it does seem to move a little bit slower. Now keep in mind, when you go into this mode for lighting, it's 4K 30 frames per second, but man, does the light ever come through. So wow, well, I will wrap this up. You can also tell something by the way, <laughs> the stabilization is just great with this Pocket 3. I am super pleased with my purchase. Uh, couldn't be happier, frankly. So, long story short, we'll wrap this up, give you my final thoughts, and uh, we're gonna do that on the Pocket 3 because I like it better than the iPhone. <laughs> so we'll catch you in a few minutes, guys. Hey guys, what's up? John here from Maximum Mode Drive. So just finished my review of the Osmo Pocket 3. I gotta say, I am pretty impressed. Uh, Check out Amazon. They're going for like 669, 670. Uh, after the charger, uh, the, the, the wall key, the brick you'll need to buy, it's about $700. So call about right at $700. The real question is, is it worth it? And in my opinion, from what I just did in the garage, and, and that wasn't even a live car shoot, just cars standing alone. Wow. I mean, this thing is super simple to use. Let me give you the pros. It's super simple to use. The handheld the way it fits in your hand I think it's, it's fantastic I give it a 9 out of 10 it is absolutely great I don't really even with this have to take out my camera my main camera anymore so I'm extremely happy with that the quality of the film uh, after looking at the footage is just it's great 
Um, just make sure there's some light settings inside the um, inside the inside the Pocket Three uh, that you can turn up and down the light a little bit to your to your liking. Uh, mine was a little bit too bright, but that's an easy fix. Just turn it up and down. Um, again, I'll go back to the to the main thing that I really like about this, which is the ease of use. Uh, the gimbal is just smooth as butter. It works extremely well. I'm actually filming on uh, the Pocket 3 right now just because I don't even want to consider setting my camera up with this when this just takes seconds to do. Um, control by the app, so you can see uh, I can control the app if I want to turn to it. It's super simple. You can turn the gimbal, you can active track face, movement, whatever. Um, it's very, very well done. Very sleek little device. Um, I also do really like the mic that it comes with. You can get two of these. Uh, so if you have two people, um, you can certainly hook up one for myself, one for a guest, and have a good conversation. So it's got dual, dual channels for microphones. So overall, out of a score of 10, I would give this a strong, a strong nine. I would even almost go a nine and a half. Uh, I mean, this thing is rocking. Another thing that I really like, and I'll, I'll show you the box because it's the best way of showing it, is on the box here, you can see this little screen. You flip this little screen, basically vertical or horizontal, and that's the type of video you're gonna get. And to be able to do that, to say, hey, I wanna create a longer video or a shorter video, like shorts on YouTube or TikTok for that matter, it just makes it super simple. And then pulling the files off is also super easy and super straightforward. So I really like the package. I really like what they did and what they've come, come out with here with this product. This product is it's just going to change the way I shoot cars. I love cars. I'm all into cars. Check out the channel Maximum Overdrive, uh, obviously. Check out some of the videos. Those were done on older cameras. The newer stuff will come on the Pocket 3. And I can't. I'm actually excited to start using this thing and actually put it through its paces. Plus, getting it locked down the back of a car so you can do rollers is going to be something that um, I was using GoPros for. Not very friendly. This thing, because I can actually control it from the phone and tilt or change, you can see it's following right now, but tilt or change the active device, it's pretty, pretty darn smooth the way it works, the way it moves. So battery uh, charging on this thing, it took me about an hour to charge it up to, to full battery, and uh, I've been using quite a bit, bit of it. I've probably been using it for... I don't know, two or three hours. It says it's, it'll go longer than that, but I've been using it a lot, so I'm down to about probably 60% right now on the battery charge. So overall, I definitely give it a strong nine. I highly recommend you get it. Um, don't forget to get the, the wall charger, the charge cube. It's like an extra 20 or 30 bucks. That's what makes it 700. But in my opinion, it's absolutely well worth it. And the fact that it also comes with this little extension to make it a little longer. This thing is neat uh, because you can hook it into your favorite tripod. So uh, once active track is set, you can see it's following me automatically. Once that's set, you put it in and it will legitimately follow you. So I know active track is not a new feature, but inside of this little little device to be able to do that, you don't really have to have a cameraman anymore. You can do this all on your own. It's pretty sleek and pretty smooth. So again, for the $700, which is expensive by the way, 700 is a lot of money to spend on a camera, but one of this quality, highly recommend check it out take it from a dude who's got cars and loves to take pictures of his cars and more importantly take videos i've got big gimbals i've got cameras i've got this and that and i'll tell you what with the stabilization that's inside of this thing i'm really not going to need to use this that much more um it's a pain, a pain in the butt to hook up anyways this thing's quick simple boom you hit a button you're on rocking and rolling in less than 10 seconds and also you can choose which which type do you want to shoot do i want to shoot a vertical or do i want to shoot horizontal horizontal or landscape or vertical uh landscape or portrait excuse me so hope you enjoyed the review leave any comments below make sure you like and subscribe also the link where you can pick this up again i highly recommend you get the creator combo kit that comes with all the things i showed you about earlier in the video um, it's well worth it otherwise you're going to be piecemealing it for a while so just go ahead and spend a little bit of extra money and get everything right the first time so guys i'll catch you on the next one Thanks for taking the time to watch, and uh, you're going to be seeing a lot more video come out of this camera. So guys, have a blessed night. Peace out. We'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe.